so patients with Stills disease, whether they're pediatric or adult, can present in a number of different ways. They can present with a fever, a rash, inflammation in their joints, or inflammation in organs such as the lung and the heart. They also present with inflammatory markers in their blood. So when they do a blood test, they'll find elevated levels of CRP and ESR, which is a strong indicator that there is a systemic inflammatory process ongoing. So all these signs and symptoms will lead the physician to start thinking, this is, sounds and looks like a systemic inflammatory disease, stills being one of them. And um, then with that suspicion and excluding a number of other diagnoses, they'll put them on what they feel is appropriate treatment for those stills patients and see if they respond. The typical treatments that physicians use are your usual non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. Corticosteroids are always used because of their strong anti-inflammatory effect. Drugs like methotrexate can also be used to treat stills. And more recently, uh, physicians are starting to look at the interleukin-1 blockers or antagonists as a treatment for stills disease.